Hey guys, it's Laros300000 here. Um, so this is my review on Lightning El Drago. Let's get started. Every single Beyblade comes with a launcher. Well, depending on what, like the uh, Collector's Edition for the DS game didn't come with one. So, yeah. Well, every single Beyblade that you buy at a store that's in the original packaging that has the code, you get the point. Uh, most and pretty much almost all Beyblades come with a launcher. Um, El Drago's launcher, however, is a little bit larger than other one, the other ones. Um, I won't show you that now because I'm sort of in a hurry to finish my other videos. Every single um, Beyblade has to come with a rip. Again, there I go again. Um, most Beyblades come with a rip cord. Um, El Drago came with this short version and um, black version of the Dragon Rider. While in the Super Vortex Stadium, he came with the short version, Red Dragon Rider. And in the Super Vortex version, he came with a black launcher with no um, design, just a sticker that was already put in here. I didn't put it. Okay. Um, the character card. The dark blue tool, and every bay bay comes with a tool, and the bay itself in its original mold. Um, I forgot the names. I think one of them was uh, rapid attack, and that's the only one I remember. I think that this one was rapid attack. I'm not sure. So, it's a pretty low bay blade, and it kind of looks bulky when it's spinning, and it's an attack type. Okay, so semi-circle for, I mean, full circle for the uh, performance tip. Semi-circle for the face bolt. Now the real gimmick of this Beyblade is two things. One, it's a left spinning bait. Two, his dragon heads it's, can have um, two types of attack. It's normal attack, which is like this. And... Then you turn it 180 degrees, and it's like this. This is his second attack, and one of the, and the strongest attack. And for you to know that without knowing the name, without knowing the name, um, a quick way to know is that it shows the red sticker wing, and the heads are covering the yellow stickers wings. So yeah, there we go. Here is El Drago's face bolt. Focus. There you go. You can sort of see it, not really. Ah, there we go. As you can see, it's a dragon head, and it looks like he's smiling. He has this big horn, a lot of fur, um, and spikes on his neck. His L looks pretty cool, and it says Drago, so L Drago. He's a white dragon outlined it in red. Well, in the face, but in the show, he's actually purple. Dark purple. His energy ring is three dragon heads. Okay, there's this, the um, eye sticker. And the inner stickers are flames. This is actually a pretty good attack energy ring and can only go with the lightning fusion wheel. Only. And I say that because the heads are too gold, it's too down and it won't work on the other fusion wheels. So it's pretty good. Um, the only problem with him, with the energy ring, is that these red lines or horns or whatever, they tend to leave a mark around the uh, border right here of the... Um, launcher. Other than that, it's perfect for attack. The fusion wheel is the first, well, not the first, I think it was the first because this came before Gemios, right? Whatever, it's one of the first um, fusion wheels to, that makes you put the stickers in the wheel itself. Oh. And as you can see over here, there is six wings or blades in all. Um, three with the red stickers, and that's for his strongest attack. And three with the yellow stickers, and that's for his original attack. Okay. 
and I, this only works with the El Drago energy ring because this is lifted up and not pushed in. Um, what was next? Oh yeah, this pin track. This pin track. Oh man, this pin track is 100. 100 is pretty low, but I wish that Hasbro would just come out already and release the um, 90 or the 85 that came out in Japan. But then again, we don't want it to be too close to the ground or else then it could lose a lot of spinning by tilting. But then again, low, uh, um, low, a low Beyblade is better for attack. Um, I mean, attacks are better in low mode than high mode. There we go. The, the performance step is hole flat, which has a hole in the center. See? Yeah. So it has a hole. And it pr uh, has pretty good stamina too, and it moves around the stadium like crazy. So let's put him up. Uh, we'll do the two modes. Let's go with his original mode first. Uh, yeah. My next video will be a battle between this El Drago and the original Pegasus, Storm Pegasus. Okay. Get this. Get that. Um, since my Red Dragon Short Dragon Hasbro Metal Fusion Dragon Winder is the straightest one from the uh, black one, I'm going to use this one. So remember, this is the Short Winder that came with um, the Super Vortex Stadium. So we get him, and instead of tilting him to the left, we're tilting him to the, we're spin, um, turning him to the right. 3, 2, 1, let it... <coughs> Fast. Hold on one second. There you go. Ow. Okay, so that was his original mode. Now let's switch his part. I mean his uh energy ring. To uh, upper attack. Ah, there we go. Rapid attack and upper attack. This mode over here, where you can see the red, um, the red stickers is upper attack. And when you can see the, uh, yellow stickers, it's rapid attack. As in rapid, aka fast, and upper as in more damage done to your opponent. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. <laughs> can see he does move pretty slower than rapid attack but then again upper attack will do a lot more damage and do I recommend getting El Drago yes go get him right now um he's extremely rare too it took me two months to find him so yeah just go and get El Drago be happy and beat all of your friends and all of your base so yeah, just uh, oh, and the uh, long grip, the long launchers also go on the uh, grip, so it also fits in here. Okay. Um, the dragon details on this it is a full dragon. Let it focus, focus. There we go. Focus a little bit better, but whatever. So yeah, this one over here is a full dragon, and this one here is a regular dragon head and it is tattooed on so that's pretty nice so like comment subscribe i'll subscribe to you as soon as i can i do accept all friend invites so yeah bye